Welcome to a Well-Purpose Woman. I'm Elizabeth and today we're going to be making cute little scrap fabric flags for Memorial Day or the 4th of July. So I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get started on making these cute little flags. So to get started with our American flags, we're just going to take some fabric. I have two different shades of red and white ticking fabric. This is like a neutral red um, and then the other one's a more traditional red. I'm just going to take this little American flag that I got at a grocery store or something and I'm going to use it as a pattern. So I'm going to make my flags 6 inches by 4 inches and then that's going to be the same size as those little flags that you see around the grocery stores or Walmart around this time and I'm going to cut out my rectangles and then I'm going to do a little rectangle blue in the corner. So just if you have ticking fabric this works great for cutting straight lines just go along the lines and cut them to be six inches by four inches. Um, of course you can make them whatever size that you're wanting. These four inch by six inch type rectangles work really well in greenery or in a dough bowl as a filler um, or in wreaths even. So and actually another idea is to turn them into little pillows. I'm not going to do that in today's video but that's with the steps that we're taking today you could easily turn it into a little pillow as well. Um, but just start by cutting out your rectangles and then um, we're going to move on to cutting out the blue portion of our rectangle. So I'm going to go back to this little flake as my pattern and I'm going to cut the blue squares to be about three and a half by two and a half inches roughly. Um, it does not have to be perfect. These little scrap flags um, are kind of a creative interpretation of the real flags. So they should be a little wonky. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and I'm just going to use this kind of neutral blue that I got off of Amazon by accident. But it works perfectly for the American flags. Up to this point I didn't have anything to do with it. So now I'm using them using it today which feels really good. I don't know if you can relate if you have fabric that's been sitting for a while. When you finally find a project for it, doesn't that feel good? Let me know down below if you can relate to that. Um, but we're just going to use these little rectangles on our flags and once we kind of have everything set up, we're going to take them over to our sewing machine and just put it all together. Um, this project would work fine if you're not a seamstress or whatever. You don't have to use a sewing machine. You can also just use hot glue for this project. Um, they're simple enough that you don't need to use a sewing machine. I think that the stitching does add a cute little dimension on the, these flags though to make them look a little more primitive or whatever, but um, it's not necessary if you don't sew. They can still be really cute. Um, so I'm going to finish up with this and then I'm going to take my lace. As you can see in the top um, American flag here, I've cut out lace along the white strips of that ticking fabric and I'll do that for each one of these little flags and then we're going to take them over to the sewing machine and we're going to get started on putting our flags together. So I'm just lining up the lace along the white portion of this ticking fabric. I didn't even pin the lace on. You could do that. Um, again I think these scrap fabric flags are kind of cute when they're off a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to run a stitch down the lace, securing it to the fabric. And then we're just going to continue that for the rest of the white stripes on our ticking fabric. Um, and then we're going to attach the blue part to the flag. I'm going to jump ahead and just do that and show you how I do it. Um, just so you get an idea. And then I'm going to fast forward um, the rest of the video, adding the remainder of the lace to the fabric because that's fairly straightforward but I just set my sewing machine to the zigzag stitch and I'm just going to stitch around the blue rectangle. Um, you can match the thread. I'm using actually white thread on it. I think again I'm not going for perfection but just to get a cute little flag and so I'm doing the zigzag stitch all the way around the little blue rectangle and then I'm going to finish by adding the lace to each of the white strips. And that's pretty much all there is to the f making the face of this flag. Now we are going to make these two layered. So once I have the face of the flag completed, we're going to add the back layer on. But I'm just going to speed up the video so I can finish putting the lace on the front of the flag. Thank you. 
So once all the lace is sewn, this is what it looks like on the front of our flag. I did this one as well, and I used a little grain sack heart on the blue part to make um, some contrast with the blue background. And so we're going to maybe do something similar with this other flag here. You can just cut out grain sack or um, any type of fabric you want. I had some antique grain sacks that I just had scraps from, so I'm going to use that and then just sew the heart on to the face. And if you're making these two-sided, you definitely want to do that um, before you sew it to the back side of your flag. flag is done we're just going to flip it around now and attach the back side so I just have a grain sack um, and I'm going to just sew a stitch around all four corners and I'm going to leave a small gap um, on the bottom left corner that's about three quarters of an inch and that will be where I attach my dowel now I didn't get a very good job of me sewing it because my hand was blocking it so I apologize for that um, but once you've sewn it all the way around then just take a wooden dowel um, or a stick even if you like that and you're just going to push that in through that little opening that you left in the bottom left corner of the flag and once it's in place if you want to add a little extra reinforcement um, you can take a hot glue gun and just glue that little bottom corner so that the flag doesn't move around on the dowel. Another option would be before um, sewing the back piece is attaching twine um, as a little hanger behind the flag. So that would be another thing so that the flag would hang more than um, stand up with the dowel. Um, you could do something like that as well or a little beaded um, hanger as well. And then just hot glue the bottom corner in place. Hold it down for a couple of seconds, and then that's really it to making these cute little scrap fabric flags. Let me know down below if you have any questions. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to stick around for future videos, go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Happy Memorial Day, and if you're watching this for the 4th of July, happy 4th of July.